Over the past few days, we have brought you reports about the latest Midwest Honor Flight trip to Washington, D.C. Tonight, Kelloland's Dan Centella looks ahead at what the future holds for the organization. Navy veteran James Washi of Sioux Falls says the recognition he received on Midwest Honor Flight wasn't always there. It's something that we never did receive. As Vietnam vets, when we came home, we were like, just, we were, we were shunned. We weren't uh, welcome home at all when we came back in, in the late 60s, early 70s. He was one of 84 veterans of the Korean and Vietnam War eras honored on the organization's 10th mission. Midwest Honor Flight President and Director Aaron Van Beek says overall, nearly 900 veterans have been honored on the 10 missions. Our veterans deserve this opportunity, this honor, this closure, this respect uh, to know that their service is not going to be forgotten. They're not done with flights in 2022, not by a long shot. We're working to confirm a lot of the details for three this fall, and we hope to uh, announce that around June 15th. Gretchen Bandy Poppy has been a volunteer with Midwest Honor Flight since the beginning. She's taken photos for the organization on every flight. Dan, it is a blessing to see these veterans do this and that we are honored to do it for them. And a photo tells so many stories, so that's a joy for me to capture that and through their eyes what the day perhaps has brought them. The day means the world to veterans. I'm just happiness. I, I just feel great about this. I think I enjoyed every minute of it. I really appreciated it. Gail Arnott of Westington Springs is a veteran who was a guardian for another on last week's trip. This really is making up, I think, for a lot of, uh, of lost time and thanking these men and women who, who served with, with no recognition when they returned. And if it was recognition, it was negative. It is imperative that we get every veteran a chance to get on one of these flights and to have reached this milestone of 10 with a current waiting list of at least 10 more flights to go. Uh, we're very excited for this opportunity to continue going to the future with those three in the fall. Dan Centella. Kelloland News. And if you missed uh, any of Dan's previous three reports from last Wednesday's trip, we've included links to all of them under this story on our website. Now,